Now I'm going to demonstrate scenario three. Imagine that you want to upgrade an intelligent power strip in Iraq. This is a scenario that often data center professionals dread. How do I make a change in a cabinet uh, to the power delivery equipment without impacting availability? So I'll first start with uh, looking at 3F rack PDU on the right side. So I'm actually going to change 3F rack PDU on the left side, but I want to first find the rack PDU that's going to carry the load after I decommission the left side rack PDU. And so I see where it's located in my power path. I look over here and I see that it's measured load is 8 amps, and therefore then I have a good idea of whether this could handle a failover situation. But now I'll go find 3F on the left side, which is the actual rack PDU that I'm going to replace. And so now I'm going to look at this and say, okay, the measured amps on the left side is also 8 amps. So when I remove this rack PDU, the resultant load on the right side is going to be 16 amps, which is well within the breaker rating, and therefore then it could carry the full load of that cabinet. I have an easy at-a-glance visualization of what PDU, PDU-2B, powers this cabinet, and I could transverse the power chain. So in this particular case, this rack PDU is powered by breaker 1012 and I can have an at-a-glance view of the specifications. Uh, this is in a Liebert device. I'm provided the model, the phase information, the voltage to current, the nameplate, the budgeted information, as well as the measured information. So now I know where this device is. If I also want to go up to the next level, I can get a summation at this point. If I want to go all the way up to floor PDU 2B, I can get the summation at this point, all the way up to the UPS power bank. So I can easily transverse the power chain up and down. So I've confirmed that I have enough power to handle a failover situation. Now I want to know if each one of my power supplies are redundant. So I pull up cabinet 3F, each one of my IT devices are redundant. So I run a report, which we call the Item Power Supply Redundancy Report. And this is going to tell me a couple things. First, it's going to tell me the contents of this cabinet. And so I have a device called Clarity. I have other devices. And what it's going to highlight for me is the vast majority of my devices are redundant with an N plus 1 redundancy, denoted by yellow that it's power source redundant. But I see red here in this particular device, NY. F, SS, QL, 01 only has one power supply. So I see this highlighted in red. And now I want to check and say, well, what rack PDU is powering this device? And it's rack PDU 3F on the right side. Good news, I'm removing the left side rack PDU. So this device will not be impacted. So now I know what IT devices are in this cabinet, the status of them, their redundancy, and now I can proceed to my next analysis, which is to look at my applications. So I bring up cabinet 3F and I run my report. And when I run my report, I now have the ability to know what applications are running in this cabinet, the criticality of the application, who's the administrator of that device, and who's the customer of that device. I now have all the information I need to make the change. 